So unfortunately last week I didn't manage to get a video out on Sunday. Flat out all week, late at night, trying to get my car back on the road, or one of them, the one that I hunt out of, and um, just didn't have the time. Anyways, once I got it back on the road, me and Stu headed down for a quick hunt. Unfortunately for us, I pulled up for a quick toilet break. When I hopped back in, the car wouldn't start. We thought this was going to be the end of the trip, a couple of hours from home and just couldn't get the car started. Eventually, after testing everything that was not obvious, we found the most obvious thing. A wire that had rubbed through coming straight off the battery. So it wasn't long and we are back on the road. Just heading out, just on light. Minty, Minty, get up. We had the usual culprits, the Green Ant Gang. Digit, Pepper and Minty on my side, Mia, Prickle, and Asti on stews. So, this side's better. It's got a huge yeah. rock that's going to pull my diff out. <laughs> Jesus. Amazing. Struggling to get down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now she's starting to work it out. Yeah. Oh, I dare say if we leave this for a bit, we might. No, they're going for it. Yeah. They're really going for it. Yeah. There's, there, there's a big ear. Yeah. I'd say so. Mia's finally got her shit together. Prickle, prickle, prickle. Look, it's going along the creek. You can see them. They went one way and they're tailing yep. back the other way. Yep. So, dogs have all gone. It was me that jumped and now they're heading like this way, eh? They are. We might be better off this buddy hanging tight. Yeah. We need to run back to the youth. Enough dogs there that they'll keep anything contained for a while. Yeah. So yeah, Mia went first and then they all worked around here and I didn't even realise all dogs sort of came back and went that way and fucked around and looked at the tracker and Minty had gone out 230 or wherever they are now. Mm. Now, but they've all gone onto that sand and they're all out around there. Mm. 260. Bush. Oh, here we go. 400. Yep. And we're on. That's pretty cool. That's Minty. I've got a bail. 500. Um, we're better off. Probably right. better off. Oh. We probably are. Better off what? Driving. Yeah, I'll drive a bit closer. Yeah. Especially if we've got the first one. If we did, I think we might have to keep it there. <laughs> yeah. Although, as they're getting more dogs there, they. And it was still bailing with Mia there, yeah. initially at least. Yeah. But it's stopped now, eh? Has it?
Are they running? With the muddy crossing presenting itself right in front of the car, we decided we might be better off on foot. So we set out feet first, trying to catch up to the dogs. The dogs are at 680 or so. Pepper's well on her way there. So. Pepper's not. No, she's well on her way. She's at 500 ish. Yeah, I'll get around that thing here if I drive all the way out here. Yeah. Gotta drive around there. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is fresh digging. The dog's actually lost his pig for a while, but caught up to it heading back towards us. Anyways. I decided to take one of my typical shortcuts, which turned out to be a long cut. So I was running a little bit behind Stu, but just managed to catch up as he was getting to the pig. Oh, yeah, I'm fucking... a less than auspicious start to the hunt <laughs> we just pulled up uh, to just getting ready to get on the ferry and uh, the land cruiser shit itself <laughs> and we buggerized, buggerized around for half an hour getting it started and uh, yeah finally got across here a little bit later than planned but at least it gave time for the drizzle to bugger off and uh, as hoped that drizzle um, found a pig out rooting up the pasture so it was uh, Mia had a little jump and uh, went for a bit of a look and the other dogs were not far behind her and they all milled around and worked around and Digit and Minty sort of went off on a line and Pepper went off on a different line and they all sort of zigged and zagged and carried on and we thought they were all hanging around at the ute and Bo looked at his tracker and there's Minty about 230 metres away and uh, it didn't take long before the other dogs decided they're going to be where Minty is and uh, followed up it's probably what around 500 odd metres that they hit up even I reckon I was like Six seven, yeah. It was a Six fair seven, way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it was a yeah, it was a fair way, all right. Just in the sort of open pasture stuff here, and uh, they followed him up for a bit. They had him bailed initially for, well, I guess twenty odd seconds, and then he broke on them. Tried to uh, pull a swifty, obviously do a Yui, but they uh, managed to pull him up. We've got some pretty good nose dogs in this team, so he was in a bit of trouble out in this open stuff. Anyway, came to um, a solid bail, and. Uh, got here and it was no longer a bail so uh this woman hard cat a hauler here who uh doesn't know that she's supposed to be a bailer but he heard or smelt me coming and went right straight in on the straight in on the ear and uh was hanging on to it and uh every other dog was giving her a hand too but yeah no they did well it's um yeah a fairly young ball no uh trophy set of hooks there and uh he's not in quite as good nick as we thought initially he's got a little bit of skinny hip bones so mm, there's every chance he's a recent arrival from the, the foodless hills this time of year well, it starts getting a bit hard for them to make a living up there and so uh, a lot of pigs will come down to this sort of stuff which is usually the preserve of, of the mob pigs at any other time of year and the boars tend to stay a bit higher but yeah not this bloke and we got him Good start, bloody good start to the hunt. Not wrong. Nice. Hopefully, try and find some more. Yeah. Okay, try and get across here. Please let me get across here. So you gotta go through here, then through another dip, then we can get out there. But as you can see, it's not looking nice. So, <laughs> second gear low range because one H sets have no power unless you're either low range, second or less, or first. and normal but you're still struggling first <laughs> so, so pretty much they just have no power yeah, four drive technique for you the speed at the very suck easy nope not easy <coughs> all that fucking stuff you'll be a team all right now all good time for some winching yeah, that worked 
Okay. Right. So, I don't do that. Pull this out. You can see why we're getting no traction with the state of the tyres. Yeah, they're not going. <laughs> Wait, the snatch straps on this toolbox? Nah, the other side. Oh, they get a bit caught up in the winch here. I mean, your tie rod ends are covered in dirt. Spent all week doing that, that's why we didn't have a video last week. You know how you learn all these dramas? Oh, I should be able to get that. It's through going pig hunting and having no choice but to get out because you bloody three days walk from any sort of help. And that's it. With tired, not, injured dogs, no not, food. Yeah, not through like a devotion to loving this sort of scenario. No, and because we're pig hunters and not recreational four-wheel drivers, we never got exactly the right gear we need. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cool. This works to block that up so that you can actually get it undone again. Yeah. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So it's Jeez just get gonna up. go out get and use them as dampeners so that I don't have a giant slingshot. Or not as giant a slingshot. And yeah, we'll see how we go getting out of here. Fingers crossed. Not really one of these people who loves full driving. I take no real sort of excitement out of it. I just want to go pig hunting, but you know, to get over here, I would have had to drive around, which would have taken 10 minutes. So instead, I'll spend 20 minutes or half an hour trying to winch my way out. Here we go. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! forward a bit make sure we're off of everything and we're sweet this is why I use that bit of timber so normally you'd never get that undone but look at that perfect I'll leave this here for next week and then this is probably a bit tight oh not too bad should really have some sort of protector on there to protect your sling but you know, don't. Roll them up, you do your winch if you like. So, um, Stu's just feeding the winch cable in and then we'll get out of here. Just, you obviously need someone to feed it on, otherwise you end up with all the winch rope on one side and it fills it up and can't spin around, so, if that makes any sense. Yeah, you know, we might eat, a, might eat a snake as well. The charity group we're hunting for is actually replanting this section of the rainforest, which used to be farmland. As you can see, trees. the pigs are just running amok. Digging every tree they put in, straight back out, which is the reason we're there. Pretty much doomed. Unless we can keep the pig dump numbers down to a dull ore. Let's come and destroy it all. No pigs near the tree planting site, we decided to head up to the base of the hills. Jump in there. Pretty sure there should be a pig bedded up somewhere up in amongst them. Just sort of got an assortment of dogs all over the place. 
Except for Asta is just here, but she's just slow. Digits down there, 100 or so. Minty's up there, must be close to 200. Yeah, 194. There Pepper's not far. Just milling around. All over the place, prickles, 130 up the hill. Minty's sort of looping around and coming back down over here behind us. It's just dogs all over the place. Here's Pepper back. Which sometimes, although I'd rather my dogs working out, having one near you sometimes is pretty handy. Last two times I've been here, actually, it's been really handy having dogs right on. Oh yeah. When they spread out like that too, you get one bailing over here, and they're all still running over there. Uh, yeah. Make sure you can get one near the bale as well, back them up a bit. Mm -hmm. Far out. Jeez, Pretty uh, convinced. The lots of aren't coming back, they're sort of... Digi's sort of heading up here. Yeah. Me and the first one we're about to finally get on the Minty's line. Far oh, out, Minty. The reassuring thing is... Yeah. The pig would probably come straight back down, that is pretty steep. Yeah. Yeah. Even though Minty doesn't have the most stop, she'd likely to run them straight back into everybody else. Yeah. Holy hell. hell. She's not that far off the bloody top of the hill there. She is. She she hits one this side. Sends it back down. Yep. Yep. Hit one. Let's see what happens. Somebody's hit one. I think it's Minty. Minty's done a U turn. Yep. She and has prickles right Mia's. Oh, prickles. Oh, Mia. Sorry. Heading towards it. Yep. Right up hill. This has got to come downhill. Psst. Oh, that's a shitter. <gasps> At the top of the hill. Oh, you it's only 180 or so, but it's pretty steep up there. Yep. But at least we didn't hit one in the same place for once. <laughs> Variety's a spice of life. <laughs> Every time we come here, we just repeat the same run. <laughs> This bit. Yeah, beautiful, eh? when, you, when you can pick the way, bloody excellent. So we made our way uphill through what must be some of the best rainforest I've ever walked through. Nice and open, and yeah, just a sign that hadn't been so heavily logged and hadn't come back with full on uh, way wall and vines. Before arriving at and then quickly dispatching the sow that these dogs had caught. Yeah. <laughs> Here's this sow that um, Minty just got onto. We actually just sort of came into the forest dogs about a couple of runs and we headed down to the creek and they all sort of worked out slowly and um, yeah, Minty by a mile was fair way ahead of the other dogs and sort of headed up this ridge which narrows right up further up and it's just a skinny little skinny little track on top of a little peak and um, yeah worked right up about 220 or so meters up from where we were which doesn't sound like that far but it's pretty steep going it's, it's a lot further than what you'd imagine mm. and um, yeah heard a bark out of her hit this sow hit it a couple times really and mm. then sort of started to make its way down and um, unfortunately for this poor old lass <laughs> she <laughs> ran straight into Mia which heard the bark and was already close behind Minty and yeah, it was all over Red Rover, closely oh. followed by the rest of the... Team Green Ant. Yeah, the rest of the Team Green Ant, which, yeah, quickly, quickly mobbed the crap out of it. Mm. That was that, but yeah, fair old pig and great work from Minty. Pretty stoked of how she's going, so... Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, very good. Always good to find pigs in, and stop pigs in this kind of real steep shit. Yeah, especially on the side of the hill. Yep. Yeah, contending with... Stuff like that, yep. all and the way up and down. Think that's by no means the worst stuff here at all. Nope. That's um, yeah, that's probably saying something. Too right. <laughs> that's sort of a annoying, but not too bad stuff. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's about all we got for the day, pigs wise. Just a little later on, we went to another property to check it out to do a bit of reconnaissance for another hunt.
But you guys will get to see that in full, hopefully in the next video. Cheers guys, have a good weekend.